Hey everybody, John Burroughs for AlarmSystemStore.com. Welcome back to another tech support video on the Honeywell Vista Series control panels. In this one, we're gonna be showing you how to do alphanumeric programming for your keypads. Basically, we'll take you through a, a programming zone known as Star 82. This is where you will program in alpha labels for each one of your zones. So basically, you can tell um, you know, if uh, zone one is the front door, zone two is the kitchen window, zone three, maybe living room motion. You can label all your zones. It makes it real easy for you. You don't have to remember a lot. You don't have to write down your zone list on your panel door. Um, it would help to keep that list just in case you have to go back and reprogram stuff. But uh, doing alpha descriptors on your keypad, like an alphanumeric 6160 keypad um, is very helpful to uh, take some of the guesswork about which zones are open or closed or what have you. So we're gonna go back to the panel on the wall in the tech room and I'm gonna show you how to go about doing this. So if you follow me, we'll get started. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back at the control panel and uh, right now we're going to do the STAR82 alpha programming. I prefer to do it this way because um, it, you can just go through it real quick. Uh, you get your zone set up in star 56. You know, I know it asks you at the end of the zone if you want to program the alpha or not, but I just find it easier this way. You can just shoot right down the list. You don't have to worry about going through all the other zone information to get to this section. So I do this in star 82. And as you see right now, our keypad's is playing a system low battery. That's because I don't have a battery hooked up. Um, that's not gonna uh, stop us from going into programming. So to go back into programming, you enter your installer code. Now, remember we last video, we switched this uh, installer code from the default to another one. It was 4113. Then you hit 800 to get into programming. You will see your installer code 20 being displayed. Like I said in the last video, that is the first programming section you will land on when you first get into programming. Uh, your, you, your programming manual you'll get with this system, um, take a look at it, get familiar with it. Uh, the section that we're gonna be doing is star 82. As you can see here, on, in my manual it's on page 28. It may be on a different page in your manual. Some of them have different versions, but you'll, you'll be able to find it. It's usually towards the back of the book. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're going to go to star 82, and this will straight up ask us if we want to program alpha, and uh, zero for one, or, or zero for no, and one for yes. So we're going, we want to, so we hit one for yes. Ask us next for custom words. Do we want to make custom words for a zone? Um, in uh, the vocabulary list for this system, as you can see here, there are a ton of words for this uh, system as far as the vocabulary go. Uh, now you can make your own words, but there's a ton of them in here already. Uh, to do, I'll show you how to do that after we do standard alpha programming. So for right now, we're gonna hit zero for no. Then it flashes up on the screen, gives you the zone number, uh, an asterisk and then the zone number, basically. And uh, from here, to go and start programming your alpha, you will go to star zero one. You hit star and then the zone number and the cursor will move over to the right and it will allow you to begin to enter your information. Now, as you can see here, these words have numbers next to them. Um, our zone number one is a door, so we're gonna make this front door. You'll go through your vocabulary list, see if there is a word in the vocabulary list that says front, which there is, and the number next to it is what tells the panel what word it is. To enter the word, you will hit pound, and then for front, it's 085. And as you can see, it displays front. To move on to the next word, now these alpha descriptors, you can put three words per zone. To move to the next word, you hit six to save that one. Moves the cursor to your next line and is waiting for you to input the next word. So this is going to be our front door. Go through the vocabulary list again, and there is a word in the vocabulary list for door. It is listed under 057. So to enter in door, you hit pound 057. So now we have front door. 
Now there is one more word space, but we don't need it. So you can either hit six to move to that next space and then six again to exit, or you can hit eight to exit. And that saves it basically. Now we need to do our next zone. So go ahead and enter in asterisk or star zero two. That moves us to zone two's descriptor. Zone two, as you remember from the last video, was a window. Now, <clears throat> we're gonna make this a living room window. That's three words, living room window. Go through your vocabulary list, and there is a word there that says living to enter, and it's 113, so enter pound one, one, oops. <laughs> Back up, we'll enter program alpha, yes. Custom words, no. Star zero two. Then you want to enter pound. Oh, <laughs> having a few problems here, folks. Bear with me. Star zero two, and then star zero two. It will move it over. Now we hit pound one one three. Living. Hit six to move to the next word space. Look down your list and find room. Have pound 162 is room. Hit six to move to the next word space, and then we will find window, which is 217. So pound 217. So now we have living room window. Hit six to save that. Now you can move on to your next zone. So hit star zero three, star zero three. And now we're ready to label that motion detector that's on zone three. So let's call this kitchen. And there is a word for kitchen in here and it is under 105. So enter in pound 105, puts the word kitchen there, hit six to move to the next space. Then we need to find motion, which is word number 131. So we hit pound. 131 one. puts the word motion there hit six to move into the next word and then detector which is word number zero five two so enter in pound zero five two and six to save that now that's basically how you go through simple alphanumeric programming for your zones now let's go back let's go back to let's say zero one uh, if we want to label, oh, let's say we want to label the door that's on zone one something different. We'll hit pound to go back to where it says program alpha. We do want to program alpha. And then custom words, we want to hit one for yes. We're going to make this billiards room door. And there is no word in the vocabulary list for billiards. So it asks for custom word. Which custom word do you want to edit? We'll type in zero 01, hits, and then it drops down so you can start programming your word. Now, for custom words, you'll have to do input these in one letter at a time. And to do that, at the bottom of the vocabulary list, you will see a listing of numbers associated with individual letters. You will find each letter and to enter each letter you will have to put pound and then the number of that letter so b is 66 so we hit star, uh, pound 66 six, puts a b there hit six to move to the next space i which is 73 so hit pound 73 move to the next space by hitting six l is 76 so pound 76 Hit six to move to the next space. Then we do pound seven, six again for another L. Six to move to the next space. Pound seven, three for an I. Hit six to move to the next space. Pound six, five for an A. Six to move to the next space. And then pound eight, two for an R. Six to move to the next space. Pound six eight for a D, six to move to the next space, and then a pound eight three for an S. Now after that's done, 
you hit your eight to save that. It goes back to custom. Which custom word do you want to edit? We don't need to edit anymore, so hit zero, zero. Goes back to asking you if you want to program alpha again. We hit one for yes, because we're going to change zone one's alpha descriptor. Custom words, we already did that. We don't need to do that again. Hit zero. So now we're back at asterisk zone zero one front door. Now what we're going to do is hit asterisk zero one. Clears out the current alpha descriptor in that zone. And to do your custom word, as you notice in your vocabulary chart here, this column right here has numbers especially set aside for your custom words. Custom word number one is number 245. So we will put in pound 245. Now it displays billiards, the one that we put in the custom word space. Hit six to go on to the next word. Now we want room, and there is a word for room in the vocabulary list. It is pound 162. Hit six to move to the next word, and now we want door. Door is 057. So enter pound 057. It puts, the, it, this is only a two line display keypad. It puts the first letter of the third word in there because it's, it's not gonna let you see anything else than that. But after you enter that, hit six to save it. Now, we will go ahead and back out of here by hitting star and then inputting zero, zero. Ask you if we want to program alpha. I don't want to do any more right now, so I hit zero for no. Then ask you to enter in star or pound. What we're going to do now is exit. So I enter in star nine, nine to exit programming. Takes us back to our main display on the screen. And what I'm going to do here is show you what it displays. It says hit star for faults. And now we have fault 01 billiards, billiards room door. That's how you do the uh, alpha descriptor programming on this system. Um, I mean, we could go more into depth, but I think you get the general hint of how to do it. If you need help with this, um, give us a call. We'd be glad to walk you through it. And uh, I wish you the best of luck with this. You can do a lot by labeling your system. Uh, it'll help you clear up some confusion about what the zones are. Our next video will be on changing user codes, adding user codes. So give that a watch and I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great day. And that's how you alpha program on a Honeywell Vista series panel through a 6160 or equivalent alpha numeric keypad. Um, pretty easy to do uh, if you just take a little patience. If you have any questions on it, be sure to give us a call 888-811-0727. Choose option two on the phone menu and the tech department will be glad to help you out. Now the alpha numeric keypad, very important to have when you're programming this system. Be sure you have at least one. If you don't, there's going to be a lot of hair tearing out and cursing, trust me. I've tried to program with a fixed numeric keypad like a 6150 and it is very frustrating. So make sure you have at least one alphanumeric keypad, 6160 or equivalent. The touchscreen keypads also have a virtual alphanumeric mode where you can program through them as well. So those will work too. Um, Next time, when we come back for another video, we'll be showing you how to do uh, adding, removing, and deleting user codes on a Honeywell Vista system. So be sure to check that out. That pretty much wraps it up for today, folks. So thanks for being with me. John Burles, alarmsystemstore.com. Check us out next time and have a great day.